Hello and welcome to the interactive maps for Farms Under Threat 2040, Choosing an Abundant Future. My name is Mitch Hunter and I'm the Research Director at American Farmland Trust. In this brief video, I will share some tips to help you get the most out of this website. I'll start with the About page. This loads up when you initially open the site. It's got very helpful information, so I encourage you to read it. When you're done, you can close it with this X at the top, with the close button at the bottom, or by clicking off of the About page. And if you want to get back to it to review the information, you can click on the, either of these two I buttons or on About up here in the navigation bar. The next button in the navigation bar, How To, will actually bring you back to this very same video that you're watching right now. The third button will bring you to a page on the Farmland Information Center, which will let you access our report, the executive summary, technical documents, and related links. And finally, if you click the request data link, you will be um, taken to a page that will allow you to put in your information and request access to our geospatial data that underlies the maps, as well as summary statistics in spreadsheet format. Just a quick orientation to the maps. Um, this legend button will display and close the legend to help you understand the colors that you're seeing. We have three different base maps. The default is the 2016 land cover from our previous Farms Under Threat report. There's also a simpler standard map that you can choose for a cleaner presentation or a satellite image that provides more detail about the land cover in use underneath our maps. Finally, we have this transparency slider, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. The site is designed to make it easy to compare two different scenarios. To do that, you just go to the Select a Scenario button. The first option is for that 2016 baseline year. So I'll click on it here, and you'll see that the label pops up at the bottom of this map pane. The other, uh, the next three options are for our three main alternative scenarios. They're defined and explained a bit in the about text. There are pop-up boxes here that tell you some of that information, or to really understand them, please read the report. In this case, I'll select the business as usual scenario. And so you can start to see the big picture patterns of where we project additional conversion to more developed uses will occur between 2016 and 2040. This is all easier to see if you zoom in. So I will um, zoom into the Dallas-Fort Worth area, for instance, and um, you get to see the pattern in a much finer resolution. This is also an example of how the slider can come in handy. So let's say we're comparing two different future scenarios, our runaway sprawl scenario and our better built city scenario. Uh, first of all, you can see there are big differences. And second of all, if you want to understand what's going on here in this area that would be converted in one and not the other, you can use this slider to remove the conversion layer from the top of the map and see what's going on underneath. And then you can select different base maps um, to give you the information that you need. Finally, you can use this select a scenario drop down to pick one of the 10 metropolitan areas that is included in our farmland protection scenario. I'll choose Fresno, California. And what happens is that it will zoom you to that metropolitan area and gray out the rest of the landscape so you can focus on the unique analysis. <clears throat> Below the maps, you can get summary statistics. So if you click anywhere on the map, here I'll click on Fresno County, and then scroll down, you can see summary statistics for the state of California and for Fresno County, showing total conversion in these bars under the three different scenarios. The conversion is also broken down into urban and highly developed in red and low density residential in orange, and those are defined here as well. Finally, you can hover over the bars to see in numbers the breakdown between urban and highly developed and low density residential conversion. There's more information below on the conversion of each state's best land, the breakdown by land type, and even more. And if you have a state selected, you'll see this blue button here that you can click to download a two-page PDF report for each state. <clears throat> Finally, the last thing I want to point out is that we have included a water scarcity layer um, 
as an optional layer to be turned on in these maps. And that is from an organization called the uh, World Resources Institute. So if you click on this radio button here, it'll bring up the map and that'll show in dark red the areas that are expected to have the worst or strongest water scarcity in 2040 down to the um, lighter yellow where there's the lowest expected water scarcity in the year 2040. That's it. Thank you for your interest in Farms Under Threat 2040. I hope this video will help you um, use our maps to learn about how our development choices will affect farmland and ranch land in the coming decades. Thank you.